Hi guys, so let's continue to repair the deck. So let's start it. Everything is ready. And my plan is uh, to wash the surface with the 202. And then I go down to close those holes. From the uh, port side, I'm probably over um, two layers of uh, fiberglass. CSM first and in the, then uh, 17 weight. But uh, first I uh, fill with the uh, resin with copper seal. right with the bucket with some rope inside so the resin looks like it start gelling uh, just waiting for curing next plan will be to uh, link uh, those two patches I made to each other and also I want to uh, close this uh, section at some point so I just want to clean it for now while this stuff is curing the mega super effective method but uh, uh, it's working well what to say takes time but uh, it's clean so I can lay over that uh, fiberglass loaf on top of that I clean this area uh, I want to put uh, head uh, rope head stay uh, chain plate back in place and I want to measure how much uh, how, how much I need to add the material uh, to that step I made before. And also here I just sent down those uh, extras, high spots, 
as much as I could and I want to measure how much I need to lift it up. The chain plate is in place, let's measure. I don't know. Looks okay. Anyway, too okay. <laughs> it's too, too close. How flat is flat? Well, it's really hard to find a flat surface, but this is what we have in right? the edges, right? There's nothing else. But uh, yeah, it's a little low spot here, but I don't know. Maybe I can just fill this in and call the day, right? I don't want to lift that thing a little higher. There's no point for that. I need to grind this uh, section down tapered from both sides and put a couple of layers of fiberglass on top. That's the plan. Let's uh, measure 36 millimeters. Ready to cut. Point. So let's say three layers of uh, fiberglass should be enough. CSM is uh, laid out. Yeah, I like it. Uh, maybe I'll go with the CSM only. It looks okay, I guess. The thickness is okay and uh, stiffness should be fine. It's uh, still CSM. So wait uh, until I cure it and then I will uh, probably cover with uh, yeah, maybe PVA. I don't know. I covered this whole thing with the PVA, polyvinyl alcohol. So waiting until tomorrow. Another day. Yeah, it's cured. Totally. I can send this down now. So I'm thinking maybe I can uh, cut a bigger section over here. So the center one will be a little bit wider. And I also take these two wings at the same time. Yeah, there might be the problem, but uh, it's always a challenge, right? main issue I'm concerned about is just uh, the deck it just view from underneath uh, so I'm gonna cut right here and right there and this area is not supported anyhow unless uh, just this kind of structure 
one side and the other one is a bulkhead over there and in the middle is nothing actually so I think it might uh, just flex on this area and uh, maybe change the geometry of the or shape of the deck so I'm thinking I may I might just build some kind of support uh, for this section and probably all good to go such a funny support I'll probably put some stoppers on the sides and then this will not go anywhere should be solid so I drill two test holes right here and there and this is this is the edge of the uh, uh, core inside so I need to get the cut right there so let's uh, straighten that uh, deck, which I filled uh, last night, and make it nice and shiny. Shit, so I might probably just fair this area first before cutting. So I'm mixing until that uh, the color will be even everywhere. No blue, no white, just light blue. Fairing is in place. Uh, we we'll wait until it gets cured, and then we'll send it down. I marked new lines. Uh, it's uh, wide in the middle right now, and I uh, lined up to the uh, edge of the core material. So I want to make uh, this T cut. skin uh, clean out uh, just roughly with chisel uh, what I want to say uh, long time ago I fixed uh, these holes with the epoxy with system epoxy so as you can see this is not really well done so the hole must be much bigger for this purpose so yeah it's uh, just done every day something new material up to this stringer right yeah it's in the water like it's supposed to be just small part left over the rest is clean almost yeah the deck is so flexible I don't know yeah maybe I just uh, make another support underneath it's not flexing on, on its own but I, I'm just flexing what I'm still standing on so I can feel it so where, where is the uh, bulkhead is fine but the other spots are super flexible let's take out this uh, boot well 
well uh, everything is clear now I mean in scope of what to do just replace a piece of wood and cover back uh, the, the deck super easy I still thinking how to take this whole little bits and pieces of uh, the wood old wood and I brought the power washer I'll give it a try and maybe it will work I don't know, I'll try uh, yellow first, 15 degrees we'll see after that well, uh, mixed feelings <laughs> uh, I used the most powerful uh, spinning um, nozzle and um, yeah, something is fell off but not really everything not really what I would expect but uh, yeah it worked out, I would say so I will uh, use a brush after work when it's dried so well uh, the plan is simple clean everything uh, close the holes and assemble it back super easy Now uh, the battery uh, of uh, drill battery drill is uh, charging, and I have some spare type. So I want to make a nice uh, from this nice uh, piece of wood something like this uh, shape. So I need to cut the 45 degrees sides. But the problem is that that piece of wood is wider than I got. So probably I will just uh, I just measure this. Uh, uh, length of the bottom and transfer to here and then cut it whatever it is and then fill with the resin afterwards the gaps uh, I trimmed this uh, piece of nice wood and yeah it looks like uh, i can see this is a little narrow than it's supposed to be but uh, i think it work so i'm gonna clean the the area i left last time because the battery died and uh, i will try uh, just do the dry fit yeah looks like a piece of wood fits pretty much what, it, what it's supposed to be but looks like uh, the deck isn't not straight or the wood is not straight I don't know but uh, I don't really care I will tighten this stuff with the uh, screws when I get the uh, resin on it so it should be fine it's almost there so I covered the holes underneath it's time to fabulize Right now and fill those sides as well so waiting waiting until I be ready to put this uh, stringer the long piece
day because they're on the sun is killing really hard and uh, the resin is curing pretty fast so no cure layout for today next time this is it for today uh, if you like this video please hit thumbs up subscribe and leave comments down below thank you bye